sex and gender characteristic are the gateway to precision medicine. They are just the beginning to finally reach what we define as precision medicine. Today, we have an approach that is shallow medicine. This is not what I am uh, saying. It's what Eric Topol um, said before me. And uh, we have to move from the shallow medicine approach to the precision medicine approach and the sex and gender characteristic as the first key factor to take into account in all the area we just mentioned. And this should be also carefully addressed by regulators or by funding agency when they uh, fund research projects, when they do assess uh, uh, clinical trials outcomes, the first question it is, has been sex and gender analysis done? Uh, is this uh, the right population to include in a clinical trial? Do we have an abundant representation of the prevalence of the disease in the general population, or are we selecting uh, a subgroup that is not representative of that general distribution of the disease in a real world setting? So these are key questions. And um, yeah, by taking them into account in the all stages of uh, research and implementation of research on patients, we, as we said, literally transform the way we do things from shallow medicine to precision medicine. Now, a call to action, it is quite an obvious one. So, and uh, it is also, in my opinion, very easy to <laughs> be followed up. It's about uh, taking into account the sex and gender characteristic when we do preclinical research when we do clinical development, when we analyze data, when we have to stratify for this type of data and make sense out of them. Ideally, we should also go for uh, clinical trials that maybe are just uh, designed for women or for men. Above all, when we know that there are those profound differences, not only in prevalence, but also in progression, treatment response, diagnostic, and uh, health out outcomes in general. We also believe that this has to become a priority for governments, so it has to be in the uh, global political agenda and taken seriously into account. And uh, only in this way, we can achieve what we define precision medicine.